Hey y'all, doing another video for y'all since um, you seem to like the uh, Nidecker Supermatic video. I figured I'd just do another unboxing video of my uh, 4D mags here. I originally purchased the uh, 4D mag S uh, and we'll just uh, say that was definitely not the right one to purchase. I did not know the S meant small. Uh, on evo.com it says the frame is a medium frame for the 4S and for the regular 4D mag it says it's a medium frame as well. But ultimately the uh, 4D mag S is truly a small frame so um, you know just keep that in mind when you're looking at it. I had, didn't even register to me, I just was looking for the 4D mags and just bought the wrong one. So this is my second pair <laughs> of uh, mags at this point in time um, and hopefully these ones are going to fit my face a little bit better but ultimately I just wanted to show you uh, what we got here so um, I'm gonna pull these out of the box all right so here's the box they come in Smith hand built in the USA Nothing too terribly special here. Um, mag interchangeable system, bird's eye vision, 25% increased field of view. Chromapop lenses, I got the I got the sun red mirror with this one. Uh, and the Chromapop storm yellow flash. Really like that storm yellow flash for the, uh, you know, for those uh, really high light days where we've got a lot of sun. So let's see what we've got here. All right, so we've got this beautiful um, box as we open. The interior looks great. Looks like they spent some time. Fit and finish on this looks good. Our case here, case looks amazing. Feels good, sturdy, protective. Yep, I don't think I'm gonna be losing anything. Interesting, interesting, there's a little uh, vent on the bottom, I guess. So um, if you throw these in your, uh, throw the goggles back in, then um, looks like they uh, will be able to vent out instead of just uh, have all that snow melt on the inside and make them all gross. So <clears throat> unzips nicely, zipper feels solid, firm. Nice stitching on the back here. Got a Smith label on there. Everything oozes, you know, what I would expect out of a, uh, you know, I forget how much these were. Um, I think I got them for 280, something around there. 279, I think. 280. <laughs> anyway, so let's open this up. Let's see what we have here. So it looks like we've got our Smith goggles here. Looks very nice. Smith on the inside. It comes with a goggle sock, as you can see. So we'll pull our goggle sock off and see what we got. What a beautiful lens, y'all. That thing is amazing. Looks so good. Love it. Oh, man. Really like that bevel on the edge there at the bottom. That must be that bird's eye thing they were talking about with that extra 25%. I can see how that would really make a difference there. It just looks fantastic. I like that. That looks really cool. Very nice. Interesting little nose kind of, let's see if we get that in focus, little nose stir up here. I don't even know what else you would call that. <laughs> it's kind of flared for your nostrils. <laughs> so if you got big nostrils, I, I think this is the this is the lens system for you, my friend. All right, let's see here. So on the back, we've got our nice little hook system. Very nice. We've got dual adjusters here, so we can adjust either side easily, so we can have nice evenness with that. Um, of course, it kind of looks wonky now that I didn't finish this. 
Let's get that looking a little, a little better. Ooh, actually, let me show you this too. On the inside, look at here. We've got. I can't really see. I mean, you can kind of see that with the and the light there, but you can see there's a uh, a piece of like strappy. Um, oh, here it is, right here. This is your rubber material. It even is on the inside of this here, which is nice. So this feels really good. Like it's not going to move on my helmet or anything. This looks feels very tacky good and tacky but stretchy too so that's really nice a very nice looking goggle system I'm really happy I got this one I'm ready to rock this out on the mountain all right so the goggles just feel really well built I mean they feel like these side panels feel extremely durable um, oh man that looks amazing I don't know if you'll be able to see this yep yeah, you can um, so you can see how thin that little layer is on the top and that is awesome because that will that will vent so well I can't believe how well that looks like it's gonna vent I mean it it looks like fantastic it's gonna go really well with my Smith Vantage helmet that's coming in here in the next day or two which I can do another uh, unboxing video on for y'all if you want that but yeah, this looks fantastic. I am loving that vent. I think that's probably my favorite feature of these goggles so far. Um, but, you know, I still haven't gotten to some of the really nice features of these goggles still, too. So um, so here we're, here we're looking at some, some Smith's top-of-the-line goggles. I, I don't think there is a better one. Um, let's take a look at what this other lens looks like here. It's an interesting little flap I'm not sure what this flap is for if you know why my goggle system has some uh, flippity flap here by all means please enlighten me to what <laughs> what the hell I'm supposed to use this for I'm not sure I understand the point of this but you know that's okay I can live with that I'm sure one of you knows so we'll, we'll, we'll find out why in the comments below all right, let's check out this other this other goggle we have here. This uh, case that they have, or this other lens, this case, this lens case is really nice. Um, man, it's just like super thick compared to like my Oakley case. Like uh, they had one of these for my Oakleys too. Um, granted, they were I think they were oh gosh uh, like version ones of the whatever I don't even remember anymore they're not the flight decks that's what matters because that's what people mainly care about nowadays probably but um, this is really really nice um, yeah I can't argue with it so let's take these lenses out and see what the storm yellow looks like here oh wow these lenses are beefier than I thought they were going to be totally I mean thick 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 lenses wow I'm impressed like I mean like it takes a, a good squeeze and still is not um not very malleable so they're pretty pretty darn durable I I don't this is what I want out of a a $300 goggle system this is what I want beautiful beautiful magnets we can see the magnets here each different spot magnets on the side I mean I've never changed one of these goggle systems before um, but we're going to go ahead and try it now um, there is a little film on the inside here um, I am gonna go ahead and leave that film on here for now I do apologize since we're gonna get not quite the true yellow color but um, I don't want to take it off quite yet so let's see I have absolutely no idea how to take these off but I assume they just kind of magnetically pop off uh, or maybe there's a button I'm not very sure y'all what I'm supposed to do to get these off so um, they definitely feel over-engineered, so I'm not really sure that I want to 
press too hard on things. Um, let's see if we can find it in the instructions here. What do we got? What do we got? This is Smith's, uh, I don't know. Those are bullshit. Um, we've got the Smith, uh, whatever this is. I think it's like a patch or something. I'm not even really sure. Smith something. Maybe an iron-on sticker or patch or I'm not sure. Ah, this is what I'm looking for. Lens removal kit. Okay. I was right. You do need to get the this little button. Hmm. I'm not sure what that what that really means. Press with this finger and do go from this to this and then it's just whoosh right off, right? Just like that. No problem. This product contains strong magnets. Cool. All right, let's try it. You press the button press the button ah ha, ha. press this button too i guess ah there we go aha uh -huh, look at that that's so easy oh my gosh <gasps> and they snap like right into place that was so easy oh man that's sick oh man it just like snapped right in there holy smokes and they are pretty much right wedged in oh in in oh my god that was so damn easy i cannot believe what i just saw hold on i want to do it again because that was so cool hold on one more time one more time all right so we do undo our sides all right we pop it out oh my gosh all right i'm gonna try this a little different this time i'm gonna put this this edge in here this edge in here boom boom y'all i can see why so many people love these goggles these are just absolutely awesome that is such a cool goggle system i am stoked on this i cannot wait to take them to the mountain and i cannot wait to have both low condition days for sunlight and uh i cannot wait to have those uh really bright days just so i can change out this lot this this these lenses because man that was that was sweet sweet all right and then boom put this back in here just like that we get our other lens oh look at this it's got a little a separator so cool so if you have two lenses easy peasy you can keep them both in the same bag i mean how much more could you ask for out of a lens system i don't think there is that much you could possibly ask for i have no idea how this went before i don't know i think it came underneath or something and then maybe like we put our lenses in i don't know like this something like that I don't, i'm not really sure but you know we're here let's get them the same way let's make sure okay yeah there we go all right there's our little, little lens tongue thing or whatever it is i don't really know I'll get this in there all right cool maybe tuck it in like a little baby you know just so it's all happy and then you know how does this really go back together well it goes back together pretty easy besides the little tongue i don't know what that is still figure it out i'll rely on you to tell me um but yeah there we go smith um the smith 4d mag system um demonstrated for you right out of the box uh brand new i think it is going to be a winner for me um a real oh, uh, upgrade over my whatever they were like airframe 1.0s or whatever that i was riding before for years so i am super stoked on these can't wait to see um you know can't wait to see you know <laughs> quite literally see you on the mountain so um yeah my last ones were fogging up super heavy so um I was just like, screw it, I'm done. I'm just going to go for some new ones, and these are the ones I landed on. So um, let me know what you think. Are these uh, goggles that you have in your cart? Are these things you've been looking at? Um, what do you think of this uh, system? Is this uh, one you've been eyeballing? Um, let me know. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to shoot them in the comments below. I'll try and get to them uh, as quickly as I can. All right, y'all, take care.